at Random TV Reviews, your girl Lana. And it's your boy, Stanley. Alright, over here with Queen Sugar. The, the once tree, again. what is it, the tree and the stone were one. Sorry we're late. Let's go ahead and get the YouTube thing out the way. If you're not a subscriber or a family member, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Indeed. It's free 99 for now, but the price will go up very, very soon. Indeed. Go ahead and rate this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. It really doesn't even matter at this point because you're already here. So, um, okay. Let me go ahead and start off with this. Dollar angle scratched me out. Nova angle scratched me out. And these guys doing little kids ain't gonna scratch me out. Yeah. They, all three of them. I want to be like Prosper. too much. Prosper living his best life right now. And yeah. that's what I want to do. So he's satisfied with him and his um, blue recall. He good to go. See, I thought he was sitting there eating some Chinese food. Mm -hmm. You eating something in a Watching him. his westerns. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's go ahead and we're gonna, we're gonna like Mike B said, we're gonna group everybody together. It ain't gonna be in order. And we're just gonna roll it like that. Yeah. Okay. I'm fine. You know, last week she told Mr. Rollins that she does have um, lupus. She has good days and she has bad days. And I think all of us came to the consensus that we thought that Mr. Rollins was like, hold on, wait a minute. Uh, we're going to have to pull the plug on this because you might not be around long enough to see this. Not even be around, but can you perform? You I, know? Wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about the, the performance, but I think she, you know, she, she no, would No, that's what do that. he was thinking. Yeah, he was thinking. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't even about what she could do. It's like, yeah. can you perform at at 100% when I got these investors that's yeah. going to be looking for, hey, we need to make some money. Yeah, you can't hear you say, uh, uh, I can't make the pies because I ain't feeling good. Yeah, so that's the last thing that an investor wants to hear. Well, to my surprise, Mr. Rollins was like, you know what? I came through. I heard what you said. And hey, I can't have you sick if we're going to be in, in partnership with each other. And I can't have you lying to me. So when you don't feel good, yeah, let me just know. let me know. I need transparency. So that, yeah, so I don't have to worry. Yeah. And she was like, so I thought that, you know, this was over for mm -hmm. me. You know, I, he was basically like, no. He said, I don't hear the fat lady singing. So, so <laughs> let me leave up out of here before I eat up all your outdoor pies. So Mr. Rollins <laughs> don't came through. He has a new contract for Aunt Vi. It seems that she's okay with the contract and the terms within it because I didn't see the contract. I just saw a little bit of it at the time. Yeah. But Anvi, you still need to get somebody to look over this skip. A lawyer, not prepaid yeah. legal, yeah. not legal shield. Pay for a good lawyer. The way you have to go in their office and they got all these goddamn books. Yeah. And, and it's most of them got wood paneling. <laughs> but this is what Anvi needs to do. She needs to find somebody that she could train to be her. So yeah. just in case she can't perform, somebody else can back her up. And I ain't talking about you call Nova and Charlie and them to come yeah. in and make pies because they got their own life. Yeah. So you need to bring somebody in uh, that you don't know, but just you can trust and you can train to be mm -hmm. you. So moving forward, now we have Hollywood. Now Hollywood is cashing in on Anvi's promise that I will allow yeah. you yes, to sir. have this big wedding. <laughs> so he's out looking at the venue, you know, he's giving, you know, he's pitching his vision to Anvi, da 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 da, and she really ain't feeling it, but she knows she's in a position where she you can, can't yeah. say anything about it because he gave you what you want, now yeah, you yeah. have to oblige and do what he wants yeah. for this wedding. And he said, well, good thing you seems like you're coming around to my idea because I already put the down payment on it and everything. Yeah. So... She let him know that, hey, I got this contract. You know, the pie shop is going to be a real thing going yeah. forward. So he's happy about it. He's telling her, he said, you know what? But at this point, you need to promise me you will really take care of yourself. So they're sitting down doing the cake testing and all the, I mean, cake test tasting. Cake tasting. <laughs> yeah, it's, late it's a little too late. So, you know, they're just chit-chatting, and she told him, she said, you know what, I'm Hollywood, I do owe you an apology. And he was like, what, you ain't never did nothing to me. I said, like, lie. hell, she ain't. Lie. She never huh? lied to you, Hollywood. Huh. But um, I'm going to let you have it, because you're trying to be the southern gentleman that you are. Yeah. She was like, 
when you wanted to invest in that barbershop, the first thing that came out of my mouth was, all you want to do is spend up all your money. Yeah. Instead of me asking you, what were your dreams? Yeah. I automatically shut down what you wanted to do. And I said, okay, uh, Hollywood mama, um, that little speech got to you a little bit. But she, she didn't let, know nothing no, about she, that speech. Yeah. She didn't really know nothing about it, but the, yeah. she, let, she left it in the atmosphere. But she understand where she at, that she's starting to live her dream. So she want him yeah. to sign. And he said, well, my dream is to take care of you. And, you I know, was do like, come on, I said, Hollywood. Hollywood. That ain't, nah, that's not your dream. No. I'm talking about what, what you wanted to do before you met me. He said, you know what? I always wanted to own my own construction company. And he said, and I even thought about a sports bar. I said, uh, yep, that, that, sports, right there, that sports lounge, that's you right that's there. That's you. That's you. Go ahead, because you know, construction companies, they make a whole lot of money, but there's a whole lot of responsibility, a whole lot of liability. Go ahead and get you a little sports lounge. Oh, he probably make more money than that sports lounge. Every week? Yeah. Every week? Because cats going to be coming in every single weekend. Every week. Especially during football season. Come on now. And basketball season. And it's the men's hideaway. They can uh -huh. get over there from their old lady ass. Especially, especially you get that, that man cave atmosphere going in there, man. Oh, my. So I vibe was like, what? not that I know what a man cave, I mean, not home. Of course, my is. She a problem with the man cave is either. She was like, but <clears throat> if that's what you want to do, then I say, black man, go ahead and live, live your dreams. dreams. And I said, okay. So he said, now, if I go ahead and get real busy, with what I want to do and everything that it's going to take for me to do that, still promise me, you're going to be taking care of yourself. Yeah. So she said that he she know her. Would. Yeah. So, okay. I have to talk about dog. I don't want to. But I have to. Okay. You know last week she wanted a 50-50 split with um, Blue. I didn't agree with it. I think that that's that's something that needs to be eased into. Yeah, you don't need to be just just yeah thrown in like that. Yeah, this boy knows how things go. He knows that either he's gonna be at Aunt Vi's house or he's gonna be at his daddy house. Mm -hmm. He knows his routine of going to school. I mean, he yeah. just he has a routine. Yeah. Now, if you want to start with the summers and you know ease him in that way, cool. Let's do that. Yeah. You know, prove yourself. But. It, Exactly. Prove yourself first, man. That's all I'm saying. You don't came in with a new car and a little bit of change in your pocket and you clean and we give you that. Yeah. But now everything that you did is supposed to go away. What? No, it don't work that way. It really does not work that way. You but, have to ease your way back into it because what people don't feel, realize is people like that, they do that all the time. All the time. And nobody trusts you. No. Until you have some longevity. Yeah. And that's and that's uh, And that's why that's, that's yeah, that's life. I mean, you break a trust with somebody, you have to rebuild the trust back up. Yeah. Yeah. And like somebody in the comments um last week has said, Isn't she forgetting the fact that Hollywood had to go find blue yep. in a shed. Mm -hmm. in a shed. Yep. Under her supervision. Yep. Okay. And the bad part about it is the judge is probably going to grant her custody because she's the bio mom. She's the biological mom and Mama Ralph Angel ain't even the dad. Yep. So that's going to so, make it even worse. So now she done came in with the I want a 70-30 30 30 split. split. And she wants to arrange something where Ralph Angel, you get him on some holidays yeah. and on some weekends if that's what you would like. I said, so now you just being nasty. Yeah, you just, you, you trying to pay him back. For not going through with the wedding but that was your fault that's what she doing she using blue as revenge to get back to him because he don't want to marry her now for lying to him all these years i don't even know if it's got anything to do with the wedding it's dollar isn't getting her way mm. and then she saw that tran isn't what's her name tran or tran, tran i think it's tran, tran, tran what tr and <laughs> um so yeah she has a right to feel some kind of way. And for one, Ralph Angel, don't be bringing randoms around your child that got done early in the game. Yeah. No. Yeah, you got to wait on you that. You got to really wait. So this is the part that really pissed me off. When Dollar said, Blue needs a stable environment. So, what? But this stable environment was good enough for you. Yeah. When you were doing anything but living in a trailer. Exactly. And he got you to sell your trailer and move in the house. Mm -hmm. It was stable enough then. 
He was working those jobs then. He was working the field then. Yep. But now all of a sudden, it because ain't stable. you got a good job, some money in a nice house, and mm. a nice little room for Blue. Uh huh. You are the better parent. Yeah. I'm gonna say. And, and all of a sudden he ain't fit because you caught them dudes in the house that he had nothing to do with. Only just one. The dude the one brought the other dudes. Mm hmm Yeah. And he corrected that really and quick. He fixed then. that real quick. Now you want to try to use that against him. Now I will say, Ralph Angel got his faults with him. Lord mm -hmm. God knows he. But when it comes to being a parent to Blue, he 100. And would do anything for do that boy. Anything. And she don't even know that he ain't the bio dad. And he ain't try treat. Well, at first he was having a real hard time. Yep. But he done bounced back from that. Yep. I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna leave it alone. Ralph Angel, give her a child. Yep. Go and give it to her. And let him piss up all the sheets. Yep. The mattresses. Yep. I mean, I promise you to God, once that little boy go through what he's going to go through with you uprooting him from everything that he knows and place him in an environment, uh -huh. you might think you're ready for this. But, mm -mm. but studies have shown and the boy is already wet in the bed. You got a rude awakening waiting yep. for your home parts. Because mm -hmm. yep. the boy, is, his body is going to start reacting yep. to what's going on. Yep. Okay, he gonna piss up. He gonna piss your whole house up. Yep. And then when he pisses his bed up, he gonna come lay in your bed and piss it up too. <laughs> <laughs> and that's study clinicals. And I'm gonna leave it at that. So Ralph Angel, he went and told his sisters about what was going on. And he was really at a breaking point. Mm -hmm. He was like, I've missed a lot on Blue's life. Four yeah. years I was First in jail. Haircut. Um, uh, first day of school. school, he was like, I already don't took the training wheels off the bike so I can teach him how to ride. ride. She's not going to take this from me. Yeah. And you know, and the sisters was like, no, 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 she we can, can't we can that. fight this. And he was like, but I'm not the bio dad. She is yeah. the bio mom. You know, yes, I have custody, but I have, I'm not his biological father. They're going to use that against me. And the fact that I'm on parole, they're going to use that against me. And mm -hmm. he doesn't come off parole until next month. You know what he probably what he probably gonna need to do? He probably gonna need Aunt Vi and and um Hollywood and all of them to band together and go to court with him so that he can prove that it's not only him taking care of Blue, but it's all of them. He got a village it's that's a raised. Village. Yeah. So he is in a stable environment and show the judge where she just came from. She just getting clean. So you wanna give her seventy percent custody? To a person who just changed, that haven't proven herself yet, when he's been in the environment for all these years, that have proven to take care of him, I think he probably give, she probably can win. He can probably win now. Give her her child. That was, yeah, that's if they want to fight. But yeah, give him to her. Bye, bye. God doing it. I know it's gonna hurt you to your God doing heart. Like Judge Maddox said, that seventy thirty split is a crackhead move. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. I know I'm probably gonna piss some of y'all off, but it's a crackhead move. Mm -hmm. Now I do agree. Ralph Angel last week. Why? Not even last week. It was a couple weeks ago. Why does he always have to have things his way? When he was, when Dollar was supposed to take Blue that weekend, and all of a sudden he remembered that, you know, it was on his birthday part, and the yeah. party. Yeah, he was wrong you for that. You need to bend too. Yeah, he was wrong for that. Yeah, so I do. Yeah. He definitely was wrong for that. Yeah. So the sisters told Ralph Age, I thought they was going to say, if she take that baby, we're going to bank her. Because that's what <laughs> sisters be doing. And oh, they're probably was, thinking about and it, I though. was like, Nova, you got a spell for everything else. Uh -huh. Why you ain't, I put a spell on you. Uh-huh. Go there and dig in the ground and put something in the ground. Oh, uh, sure. Because it on fire. Mine. <laughs> she probably thinking about it, though. I said, go and bank her. Sisters don't play that kind of mm. Oh, they thinking about it. Trust. <laughs> So that day on Ralph H, boy, he was acting his tail off. I mm -hmm. mean, he would cry. He talked about, he told Charlie, he said, I got to go home. You know, she got but, better things than I got. She could provide more yeah. than I got. I was like, God, don't. It was really. like, they said, Blue, that boy loves you and you are all he needs. That's right. Because everything that glitters ain't gold. Mm -mm. Yeah, give him to her. Huh? Give him. Matter of mm. fact, drive him over to that school. But like he said, he's like, every time I try to walk the straight and narrow, it all of a sudden come along and knock me off. Welcome to being black. Yeah. Welcome to being in life. <laughs> <laughs>
that's life. You know, every time you try to do do the you know right thing and try to come up, it's always gonna be a challenge. It's always gonna be something. But guess what? We overcome us, yep. man. That's how you react to it. Yeah, we overcome. Us. So, um, Jacob. Now y'all know that that Charlie got her good eye on Jacob because mm -hmm. everything that's both of her eye on, on her. Everything that's been going on with the land. And she got a little tip of, of something that was going on. Yeah. He knew about it. So Jacob called her. He had to beg her to stay on the phone. Because she was about to hang up on him and cuss him out all at the same guy at, time. At the same time. He said, my mom wants to meet with you. Hear me out and hear me out good. Please consider coming to this meeting with my mama. Hmm. And I said, do what now? So what's your mama going to do? So Charlie eventually goes over there to the meeting. And the mama was like, you know what? You're my type of girl. <laughs> Tough, about family. Charlie said, let me stop it right there. I'm not your, your girl. girl. No. So what is it that you want from me? Like Tyree said, what more do, <laughs> do you, you want, want from me? me? I want my baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Ralph Angus is going to do. Mm -mm. Don't do mm -mm. it. Because him and Ty we don't need two black dark skin dudes on um, Instagram no, fighting. No, I want my baby. Uh-uh. Because Tyrese would take that real serious. Yeah. He would take it literally. And he would start a beef that's not even there. He worth yep. the 50 cent. No, he's mm. not. He's not. No. no. Um, so they're sitting there at the table. And long story short, the sister, which is Jacob's mama, ain't feeling what her brother has been doing. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the part that got me all the way bucked up. Yeah. She said, my brother, well, first of all, she was the one, she kind of reminds you of kind of what, like, Charlie was doing, to be honest. Yeah. The daddy had all his land. Mm -hmm. She basically was his ride or die. Landry was out there um, soiling his oats, yeah. doing what he was doing out in these streets. But when the daddy died... You gave him a jar to the company. So, the sister was like, I don't agree with what he's about to do because we don't need our land to be contaminated Basically with the likes of you, the criminals of yourself, criminals, mm, thugs, thugs. Um, locked away in prison on my daddy's land. And Charlie said, Charlie, thugs. Charlie's like sound like you sound just like your brother. She was like, basically, we both have a vested interest here. I want to protect my family and our land and you want to do the same. So you're going to have to team up with me so that we can flush my brother out because yeah. I need more stakes to be able to overturn him and I need your vote to be able to overturn you. Charlie said, cut the bull. Even with my vote, you don't have enough power uh -huh. to flush your brother out. So she comes up with, with some information. She said, listen, you may be interested in this information. Remember last week, Nova had got a tip yeah. that they have a cousin that He's fluffing the um, reports to say that the land is messed up and the land mm -hmm. really isn't messed up. Exactly. This cousin evidently owns some shares too. Now, she said, um, because I'm family, legally I can't poach him out of his shares. But well, you, you can. can. So Charlie was looking. She said, you know what? I'll look at what you got going on. But anybody that will turn their back on family the way that you are doing... I, I need to keep, keep my, my eyes, eyes on you. I said, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if I trust her yet, though. No. And then Jacob, he's trying to still talk to Charlie. He was like, it's not what you, what it seems, and da-da-da-da-da. She said, mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. Y'all been hiding this from her. Now you want her to trust you. And come on your side to help you win. Yeah. And it ain't guaranteed that she gonna win. Yeah. Yeah. But when she said, I don't want no thugs, and no criminals. Yeah. Locked up on my daddy's land. So basically, if this was a criminal, uh, was, was a prison full of white folk, you would have been all right with uh -huh. it. Oh, you've been good with it. But in who? Yeah. So then, I said Charlie can't catch a guy. Don't break. I promise you. So, what part I want to go to next? Nova. Yeah. And that guy don't remember mine. Nova. <laughs> Nova. Nova. They go out there and it looks like I don't fall. It looks like um Two Sweets Mama was having like a cookout or I don't really know what was going on, but Two Sweets Mama Here's a cookout going was on. out there. And you know, they're having conversation and all of that. But I noticed that um Remy 
and Nova came up in there hand in hand. hand. Yeah, I was like uh, strolling through, and I said, "Hold so, on, did I did like, I fast what, forward too far? Because yeah, did I miss something? What? The, so now y'all doing this public now? You know, holding hands and stuff. I mean, because the last time we looked, they was in the kitchen trying to resist each other. Yeah, and now y'all just out in public holding hand, willy nilly as might be was say. Okay. Disrespectful, like you say. <laughs> <laughs> and introduced um him to Two Sweets Mama and vice versa. And she was like, you know, you got a real good one on your hands. And he's like, you know, I already know. And then they ended up going back to Nova House. And she was trying to roll a joint with Bob. Yeah. And did look like she knew what she was doing. I said, Nova, you supposed to be... Uh, you supposed to be your... Say, Go on, give me that. I'm going to show you how to do that So right he there. do it and he... And they both... Puffing on some um, herbals. I said, oh, hell. The herb, herbal, um. Herbal life. Herbal life, as we will call it here in Virginia, so that you don't let people know what you're talking about, you know, the herbal life vitamins. So, you know, they, you know, ringing up on the herbal life vitamins. And I said, this ain't going to go well. This ain't going to pan out well. too well. But it, it stopped. Yeah, it stopped. At yeah. a good point, because I actually thought they was going to go and exit stage left, but they didn't. Well, the next thing we know, Nova started feeling some kind of way and she ended up going over to charlie's house and you know they're having this sisterly moment and they're talking they're out by the pool and charlie knew that something was wrong with nova oh yeah she was like what's going on with you nova, nova can't hide it when she's guilty so she said you know that day you asked me who was i seeing and she was like, spill it. Who is a lucky yeah, guy uh -huh. or a lucky girl? Let, me know. I was Let like, me know. I was like, you don't want you don't want to know the answer to that one. She said, just leave it alone, child. Uh -huh. Just leave it alone. Let, let it be a mystery, man. She said, um, I didn't need I didn't mean for this to happen. I don't even know how it happened. But if you want it to stop, I will stop it. But it's Remy. We kissed and I embraced and it is what it is. And basically, they getting a little little cozy. Yeah. But I will stop if you, you want, want me, me to. to. Stop. And so, in other words, I don't want to, but out of respect for you, when, when we get when when did when would you when it should not even started because it was your sister's boyfriend or friend friend. Yeah, or whatever they were doing. Whatever they was doing, they got close, Very too good. close for a Nova to come in and have a relationship with them. Then, so Charlie looks at. Excuse me? <laughs> she said, you know how judgmental and how hard and how ruthless you were with me when I sold Queen Sugar Mill? And I let you get away with that. Mm -hmm. She said, yep. She said, but it will not happen again. Basically, mm -mm. you you don't judge me for the last time. Yeah. When What they say? You point your finger at me, but you got four pointing back, back at, at you. yourself. Exactly. So what you're not going to do, I'm not going to let you disrespect me. That's I'm not right. going to let you talk down to me. And I'm not going to let make, let you make me feel guilty for the choices that I made when you just don't make the biggest bullshit move. Exactly. Ever. And, and you know the bad part about it? None of us really can afford to judge nobody. Because everybody got some skit one. Heck yeah. But you know, only we do. We judge it. And we yeah. measure it. And yeah. we put it in a little box. Yep. Depending on how we feel about the situation. Exactly. Because if yours is a little bit worse than mine. Yeah, oh, I'm better than you. Yeah, if you got three baby daddies. And I only got two. I'm, I'm better, better than you. you. Yep. No. But at the same time, out tomatoes, tomatoes. Both of you got baby daddies. Both of you got kids. Everybody so got you, caught up. You can't judge nobody each other on that freaking point right there. But here's my thing. And I, I told Stanley this earlier. What What is Remy's angle with this? Because uh, he was so mad with um, Charlie. Yep. Because she wouldn't make the moves that he would make. Now at first, I was kind of cool with how they flowed a little bit. Mm -hmm. Because I'm all for a person that kind of challenges a person's thinking yeah. when they're making moves. You know how they make them. Sometimes you have to step back and be like, maybe I'm doing too much. Mm -hmm. Or maybe this ain't the right move. Not saying that you can control the move. Yeah. But, you know, I, I'm Give me a always, different perspective. Yeah, give me a different perspective. So sometimes I, I like that he would give her a different perspective because yeah. Charlie is very calculated. Mm -hmm. So, if you couldn't control Charlie, and turn her into the Southern Belle that you want. What in the Life. everlasting hell are oh. you gonna do with Nova? But he don't know Nova like that, though. He but he gonna find enough. out. I mean, he know about it, but he don't. He don't know Nova. 
the Nova that we know. He yeah. don't know it yet. He been around them their whole life. She lived there. You ain't heard about her in these streets. Hmm. Unless you just a fraud and all of this this facade that you putting on this bullshit. Yeah. So Charlie ended up just walking out of Nova's face. I said, no, 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 no. You put her out. This your house. That's why I thought she gonna say, see yourself out the door. See yourself. And lead a drink. Not even out the door. Walk around the yard. And get out. <laughs> get out. <clears throat> so Charlie is sitting in the house. And her prosper. I mean, they having a good old time. But you can tell that Charlie is in her feelings. Mm -hmm. And Micah is in his feelings. Because earlier in the episode, you know, they were supposed to go and tag all of the um, slave names up over there at the plantation. When they went ahead and did it, I was so confused about the scene because won't Micah supposed to be the lookout? Yeah, he's supposed to be yeah, the lookout, but he was over there painting too. I said, well, what? See, he had the bandana around his nose and skit and painting. I said, you're supposed to be way out there discreet. Yeah. To be able to give them some kind of signal that somebody's coming. But no. So all of them was out there. So all. <laughs> and then they're going to do the bull skit and then they're going to stand there and they're going to pray. <laughs> but like. Y'all need to do Y'all that. just vandalize these people's property and you can stay there and you're going to pray? What? So little boy, the ringleader, he had threw his book bag up there on the steps. And there are candles everywhere. Well, what happened? The book bag caught on fire. Now, they had a little bit of time to go grab their book bag and just yeah, stomp it did. out and uh -huh, do something. They but they didn't do it. They panicked. And then the shed went up in flames. <laughs> the slave quarters just went up in flames. Went in flames like Urkel I said, <laughs> I said, arson, 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 arson. 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 Yep. So, so they got vandalism charged and arson. So, um... That's going to come back. So Trump we fans. saw them. Yeah. So we saw them. And I thought that they had just stayed around at the scene. And I said, y'all going to stay at the scene and just wait to get locked up? Yeah. But evidently they were hiding out in the woods somewhere waiting for, you know, the coast to be clear so they can disperse and go back home and whatnot. So over there at the house when um, Charlie, Prosper, and Michael were sitting there in the living room watching TV, Michael's distracted. Charlie's pissed. And Prosper is living his best life. He don't, he don't give two ups, my. What's going on? I say he got his his dental plate, uh -huh. his recliner, <laughs> and he's probably watching westerns because you know old folk when they come in your house they take over. So there's a knock on the door. Charlie goes to answer the door. Michael thinks it's the cops, and Michael. I think it's the cops too. Uh huh. But it's Remy, and he came to talk to Charlie and told Charlie, I don't I'm like, know how this happened. I'm like, what you come over there for? Why it happened? Huh? But this is what it is. And I didn't mean t for this to happen with her. She said, say her name. Yeah, say, say her, her name. name. Mm -hmm. With Nova. And she said, you know what? Who are you? I don't know you. What is this? What is this that you're doing? And she said, you know what? You've been around us our whole, um, around our whole life. Been around our daddy. But at the end of the day, me and Nova are family. Mm -hmm. And you're just fleeing. I said, ooh, ooh, take come on, pass him by. Huh? Okay. So she basically told him, he, she said, I'm going to need you to do me this. If y'all going to continue this relationship, mm -hmm. don't you hurt her. But you need to figure out what it is that you want and what it is that Nova wants. Uh -huh. But do not hurt her and do not make her feel what I am feeling. So right she better here. not feel an ounce of this hurt. That I'm feeling right here, right she now. She didn't deliver the threat, but I could see what she was saying, though. She too smart to deliver a direct threat, but uh -huh. he knew. Uh-huh. She he knew. Uh-huh. I, uh -huh. I, I she gonna kill you. Huh? Yeah. Matter yeah. of fact, Prosper might do it. They not gonna lock him up. Nah. He too old. <laughs> they put an ankle brace yeah, on. He, he gonna be like, I don't remember mama doing it anyway. Uh -uh. I'm, I'm depressed because I lost my house. Yeah. And everybody using that depression, stretching. Uh, what did they be using on? Um, temporary uh, insanity. Temporary insanity. Yep. I lost my house. I, I, and I, I had, had a moment. I had a moment. Nope. They're gonna put an ankle brace on Prosper. He don't leave the house no way. He only yeah, go to he church in the old yellow. Exactly. High yellow, old yellow, one of them yellows. And say, if he can't go to church, he'll go ahead and watch it online. Yep. He can get him a smartphone. He'll be all right. <laughs> yep. So, Michael and them, some, I knew something bad was going to happen. I go back, like I said, they need some leadership, man. They're they, they going about it the wrong way. 
going about it the wrong way. But you know what I've noticed on this um this here season? Nova ain't been on her activism skit. Nah, she she more on that trying to do that book now. So. Yeah, oh and she did get a book deal. Originally she yeah. was going with the original um publisher that wanted um and he wanted to actually publish her her segment about her father and the depression and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But come to find out, the New Yorker actually wants her to publish in two weeks with them. So that's actually a better opportunity yeah. for Nova. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm trying to figure out if Nova's actually going to deliver because Nova would be faced with a really good opportunity and she would be in her own way the I, entire time. I would say this so that she won't get no backlash and it might be bad timing because she already told her sister that she messing with her ex-boyfriend is that she need to tell the family that she plan on putting that story out there about their daddy. She does, yeah. You can't, don't just, don't. Hey, did, what's, what was the movie when, uh, when, um, God damn, was it the, uh, the movie when Witch Carl found about in the book that he was sleeping with a girl? Oh, Best Man. Best Man. He trying to hide it in the book. He was just stupid. And he read the book and found it. He said, I know what you talking about. And Terrence Howard with yeah. his stupid stuff talking about something. Lucia Lie. So, yeah, she needs to. Yeah, she needs to have that uh that conversation um, cause did she did she briefly talk to um she did tell Charlie she she was working on a book, but I, I can't yeah. did she t but she didn't tell her like any uh -uh. details uh -uh. of what was going on in the, on in the book though did she? Nah, not that I remember anyway. Yeah, so with that you, you know you putting out their daddy out there like that, yeah you need to. Yeah, yeah cause it's a it's a tough subject right now. Mm -hmm. And oh, and Ralph Angel he went ahead and told Tran 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 whichever her name is that um. I got too much skit going on right now. I don't want to bring you in the middle of it. And that whole thing, her whole little feelings would hurt. I appreciate him doing that though. I do. She thinks she probably she thinks she probably strong enough to handle it, but you don't know you don't know what you're getting into. I'ma tell you this. That goddamn Ernest put a generational curse on them goddamn children. He had relationship problems. Mm-hmm. God doing the child I got relationship problem, Ralph Nova. Major, Nova got relationship All problem. Y'all, somebody need to break that curse. Yeah, y'all need to rise above that. Nova, get your sage, break the curse. Yeah. Um, Unvice, as you be going to church, pray, break the curse. Yep. And I don't know what else everybody else is into. Charlie, she look like she might meditate, meditate and break the curse. Whatever you got to do. You gonna have to do it because um, that guy doing Vigure and get married again. Yeah. And Somebody we, and need we, to break the curse. We yeah, need we this need to last. Yeah, we need it to last. Like for years to come. Like Lady Nico said, I don't need her breaking up our relationship. Yeah. Because she said they in a relationship all together. <laughs> yeah, because I think if you let him go, you probably ain't going to find another Hollywood. Uh, uh And then he'll probably turn into a bad man. I hope not. Because some usually that happens. Yeah, Once they put it all yeah. out there for one woman, mm -hmm. they ain't never going down that road. That's why his mom was talking to him like that. Because he did that for the other woman, right? He did. Yeah. So she caught him. When he was still a good dude. Yeah. But after this one, he may not be so good. Yeah. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up. Two down. Holla. Holla.